Hi guys, it's Clarice. I just wanted to very quickly mention that I have finally signed up for Patreon. So if you go up there and look up Hello Clarice Watercolor, you should definitely find me and three tiers of uh, membership levels that are available. Uh, and I'm so excited for this because I have so many plans as to what to do to kind of enhance our journey with watercolor and just take it to the next level. So I'm super excited about this. I hope you are as well. I know quite a few of you were asking if I was on this um, outlet or not. And uh, here I am, finally. So you always have the uh, option to kind of go ahead and get something, get, get something as in extra perks by signing up on Patreon. Or you can continue with the freebie stuff, which is on YouTube, which is the main still going to be the main and central items that I put out. So um, yeah, I'm just in awe that I actually even reached this stage. So thanks so much guys for all your support, all your views, all your comments, uh, everything that has encouraged me enough to kind of feel like I can actually do this. So thank you. All right, so we're ready to begin today's or this week's painting. And this week we are going to be doing cotton buds courtesy of Shauna, who requested this based off the pastel pumpkin video that was posted a uh, week before last. So here you go, Shauna, this one's for you and everyone else uh, in the South who experiences these pretty buds uh, during this time of the year, keeping with our fall theme. So I have a base drawing which should be available for download in the description below. So just uh, quickly download that and uh, we are good to go. So I have drawn mine on a sheet of um, Canson paper. And for our colors, we're going to be using two shades of brown. And that's going to be in the darkest is the sepia and then the second is Mars Brown. And uh, what else? Oh yes, for my brushes, I have my mop brush in the one. I'm just keeping it on the side. I might use it, I might not. Um, my number eight Princeton and then the number four silver black velvet. And we are ready to begin. I have my water ready. I have my paper towel ready just in case I need it. And we are ready to begin. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we will paint the outer portions and the uh, stems and twigs and such, which require more of the browns, and we will tackle the white areas last. So uh, for that, because this is a very, I guess I have the drawing, it's not as loose, it's semi-loose, I'm gonna be using my number four to do this bit. And uh, I have my palette. And the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to um, do the darkest color, which is the sepia. So I'm going to get some of the sepia happening. Keep that and just mix it on here. And just getting a little bit of water to get that consistency correct because I want it to be dark, but I don't want it to be incredibly dark, uh, not right now anyways. So once I have that, I'm gonna start painting the outer areas of the pods, the cotton pods. And I will just, what how I'm gonna start off is by doing the uh, corners first. And Try and take your time. This can be a very relaxing thing to do because you're not thinking much about how, what the final outcome is going to be because you have a drawing and it's not a loose, super loose uh, technique of painting. Once I have this, I'm just going to take my number eight and I'm going to get some of the uh, Mars Brown. I probably should have done this simultaneously but when I did when I mix the sepia and then I'm just gonna go ahead inside taking advantage of the fact that it is damp and add in the Mars Brown in the center and then now that that's laid down you can see because I took time to mix 
it's kind of semi dried up. So I'm just going to go ahead and add more of the darker brown to the edges just so it can blend in and give us a nice glow as we go along. All right, so we have that. I have some of the Mars brown off to the side and I'm going to keep my uh, Princeton brush handy so I don't have to keep on uh, dabbing for it. And we'll do the same thing as we did previously. So adding the edges first. Nice and dark and then going in with the Mars Brown to kind of fill up the center. And pushing dominant color to the bottom. And at this point, because it's kind of flowing in quite nicely, if we want to just uh, uh, get some color directly from the palette to get a nice darker shade and highlight the edges, that would be fine as well. I'm just dipping the tip of my brush in water so I can extend the rest of this down because we want the bottom to be a lot darker because that's where most of the color collects anyways and then once we have that you can go back in with your number eight and extend the rest and kind of blend that lighter brown with the darker brown it gives you a nice blend because everything is still kind of damp right now all right and now we will do this third bit right here You can kind of, the, the whole aim of this is to kind of have a nice blend of dark to light. So if you see as it's drying up, it's getting a lot lighter. Just go ahead and touch up the edges to give it back that nice dark look. And especially when you go in with the number eight, because it has quite a bit of water on it already, it kind of makes it flow and dampen it. So you kind of lose that hard edge. Not that, I mean, if you like the flowy bit or look more than the hard edged, uh, then you don't need to do these additional steps that I'm kind of doing here, but it's entirely up to you. I like the stark difference between dark and light. It uh, makes it look quite nice in my opinion. So that's what I'm doing here. All right, so I've done that. Uh, let's go ahead and speed this up and kind of do the uh, stem first uh, so I'm just doing this adding some water to my brush and what I will do is actually I'm just gonna do a thin line for the stem and I'm not gonna paint all of it in I'll just do the thin line first and this stem over here too and this one this one as well and then I'm gonna wash off uh, most of the color from this brush and with just water on it I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of blend uh, the color in and this is so that it doesn't look too dark and again we're getting a, a nice um, the water is kind of making it blend and give it like a two-tone look or monochromatic look light and dark and obviously to do this as well if you're doing all the stems and then going back in after uh, highlighting it with uh, um, some water then you need to be slightly quick so that it doesn't dry off and you still get that nice blending happening. Alright, so something like that. I'm going to leave it uh, 
as that for now or you can just get a little bit of the brown and kind of add that in since we have a blend of it happening really quickly. Adding some of that there. Now we'll continue on with the other bits. So back again we go with our darker color first and then our lighter with that. So darker color at the bottoms and the edges. Painting it in nicely. Making sure that the consistency isn't too uh, thick so that when we go in with the brown the lighter brown it gives us a nice blend so this I think is perfect because we got a nice thicker consistency on the outside our inside is blending quite nicely so I quite like that so maybe it's just about like a little bit of practice before you figure out how to get that effect maybe I had too much water in my previous one see look look how nice this glow is Let me see if I can you see it yeah really like that so getting this side in so I need this to be slightly darker uh, in consistency so I'm just going in With that slightly darker color and then going in with this brush without getting any additional color from my palette because it's got enough color on here already and there we go we have our second one done and it's literally all about just like blending the two colors as we kind of go along so here we got some more happening at the top where it kind of cuts off. I'm just going to get a bit more from here and outlining my outer bits. Adding in all of that nice dark brown and then going in with the lighter one and just filling it up. Notice I'm not asking you guys to leave white space here how many of you love that or maybe you're so used to the whole white space bit that you don't love it so much anymore yeah this is what happens when I do a base drawing I get really focused in on the little details and then I'm too taken away with uh, making sure it's all done perfectly So it's almost like it ends up not being so much of a um, loose painting, more of a quite detailed painting. I'm just going to give this side a little bit more darkness there. Then we move on to the next one. I just dip the tip of the brush in some water uh, and then got some color so it wouldn't be as thick when I went to <clears throat> when I go to put it down on paper so it gives me a good blend um, <clears throat> there we go and we have our we have this one done as well So these are fun to do, right? All right, so I think we've done all of those. We just need to do the uh, little tiny pod looking things here. So for that, I think I'll do a mix of the dark um, sepia and the Mars brown. And I'll try to get a blend just so it might stand out a bit more from the others and just kind of go ahead and start painting it and in fact I might even just like go in and highlight just certain areas of it with the darker 
brown, which is the sepia. Again, light and shadow, and I'm just doing the stems as well. So same technique throughout. Because if you look at an image for reference, you will see some of it has like a light and dark portion to it. It's not just one flat color. So I'm trying to get that blend in happening. You could even do just like one side of it in dark and then go in with your um, Princeton and cover it up. Uh, like the second side, do it in Princeton and then you have a blend exactly like how we've been doing everything so far. Same method, repeated, repeatedly. I just made another one here just because. Just saw a little white dot there. Okay, so we have these ones here to do. So I'm just going to do one side of them really quickly and then go in with my Mars Brown and do the other side in hopes of getting a nice little blend. So consistency, water consistency uh, is important in this bit just so that you can get a nice blend of the two browns. Probably figured that out by now. And I'm just doing a thin line on the inside to kind of give it, again, light and shadow kind of effect. And then we have a couple of these little guys over here too, so we're just going to do those. And then going in with the Princeton. Blending that in. And uh, I think we're good for this. I'll just do a couple of lines, just like we did with the others, um, for the ones with the leaves. And then we can move on to the leaves before we go on to the cotton balls. There's one here that I just want to get darker, and I think all of them are pretty much done. Okay. Okay, so for the leaves, I'm going to use my number eight and get more of the Mars Brown. It's happening right there. And let's mix a tad bit of darker brown in there. Actually, that's what we had mixed. Let's use this. And once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and very carefully do the leaves. Um, if you don't feel very ambitious, because I know this is a lot thicker compared in comparison to the leaves, you can feel free to use the four. But what I want to do is lay down a, a layer of color like so. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do before you venture out and decide how you want to tackle this. I'm going to put the color down like this and then I want to go with this brush and kind of oh there's no color on here hold on get some of the darker sepia and just do like probably like a line of color and just to again give the leaf a two-tone look uh, this is not the best example right here because the water is pooling and so it's not giving us a nice enough blend so I'm just going to take that off quickly and just add more of that. In fact if the leaves are like light just like so it's fine because then I think it gives it a nice enough uh, blend or difference compared to the rest of balance brings balance is what I'm trying to say here 
Let's try this one more time. So too much water on my brushes. This is why this is happening. Let me see if I can just get some color directly from the palette and do that. Boy, same way. It's okay, but I, I don't mind how this is. As we go along, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. So you can feel free to lay down the color with this or this. Uh, I will leave that to you. So I'm just gonna dab off the water from my Princeton. It does hold quite a bit of water actually. And using the tip of it, I'm just going to add strokes that kind of shape the leaves. And then I'm going to go in with the number four. And I'm just going to try and add some of the color. This seems to have quite a bit of water too. Getting more color on here. and adding some strokes. There we go, this is the kind of effect that I wanted. You see it's like a little bit of golden and it's got some dark to it. Let's leave it at that. So I'm just gonna dip the color directly from the palette, I guess. And lay it down on the leaves that we have drawn and I actually kind of like the white space that's happening so you might end up wanting to just kind of do two strokes intentionally leaving some white space and just adding a couple of dabs of the darker color at the bottom of the leaf and maybe at the top you know just for added looseness to it I'll leave that up to you I'm gonna not leave as much white space, maybe just a tad hint. And I will repeat that all around. So same technique all around. There's one leaf. I kind of messed up this stem by making it too thick, I think. Let's see what happens in the end. And I'm just venturing out, creating one stroke with this brush, trying something different. And then doing one with this. And the leaves seem to have like a nice bit of curve and stuff to the end of it. So try and do that if you can. For that, you're gonna need your thinner brush, obviously. There we go. Pushing all the color to the bottom and just adding some to the tip. Top. Tip top. Um, just adding more there, there. Oh gosh, just ruin the shape of this leaf. Okay, there we go. Leave it at that. Let's not overwork things. Now I am turning this slightly so we can tackle those guys. And back again with my slightly darker color. And just adding a swipe. Swipe of the darker color and back again with the next one. These honest, honestly shouldn't take too, too long. And so don't uh, be as slow as I am. I mean, it's fine for the first time, but get to the best part, which is the cotton buds, y'all. I know I'm just being silly.
Okay, no more. We're not. Oh, wait, there's two more leaves. I gotta do two more leaves and then we are done. Okay, so because of where this one is situated, I think I will do it dark. But let me just touch this bit up first. Yeah, so. And the reason dark, not because to match the stem, but just because uh, it's almost like in a shadowy area. So it needs to be darker. Okay, there's that. And is this another leaf? No, it isn't. Let's just leave it as is. And do this one. And this one too, I am doing darker. And then I'll just get this number eight and go around it. And if the leaves have like an organic shape, they don't have to be super straight. Um, yeah, as long as they're like organic in shape and flowy um, I think it's fine so for instance by organic I mean like if I sort of wasn't straight with how this was laid down let me just highlight this first then if I did a little bit of a curve to it making it look like it's almost like a dried leaf that's kind of curling that totally works. And you're just adding some organic shape to it. All right, okay, leaving it as is. Just smoothening this out before I leave it as is. Promise, okay, done. Now we can do the actual cotton, cotton buds. So, let me just quickly explain what I'm trying to achieve with the cotton buds here. So uh, we want, we'll be using one color, very, very muted. Let's use, uh, I know I said the mop brush, but I feel like I shouldn't. So I'm just gonna keep, keep with the eight and the four. Uh, we'll be using one of the browns. Let's go with the darkest, which is the sepia. And what I want to do is I want a very, very light watered down version of it. And uh, when we are ready to lay the color down, most of the color is going to be concentrated around the center, uh, at the top, and just at the sides. Most of the middle area of the bud should be white. We're just using these strokes just to kind of indicate um, because cotton's white, right? So kind of give it that shadowy look, but give it that nice soft look as well. All right, so what we're gonna do is mix that color right now. So it is the dark color, which is right here. So I'm just adding some water. And I don't wanna use this brush, actually. I wanna use the Princeton. So washing off the Princeton off. I'm just adding water to this. And notice how light it is right now. Like it's extremely light. And I'm just gonna use this kind of lightness to dampen the area first. So I'm just going around the corners. Uh, I'm not touching, as I'm laying the color down, I am not touching uh, the first stroke. So I'm keeping a gap between the first, like all the strokes that I add, I'm just adding, like I'm making sure that they don't touch. The reason being is when I'm ready to go in with my color, my actual darker color, I don't want it to kind of flow in all different directions. And so I'm just kind of lightly highlighting areas like around the, um, these little bits, the brown bits, to kind of indicate shadow, indicate that this is where it is. And then I wanna leave the rest of it white, really. Uh, just for the center, I'm gonna add a little bit like of an archy dip. 
right where the pencil is indicating like the center and then we're going in with the number four and we'll get a slightly darker oops oh my gosh just ruined this all right let me see if i can save this if not that's okay Okay, all right, so now we're going in with this and just adding a hint of the brown there and then a slight hint of the brown to the edges very lightly. And a hint here and a hint there. And then go back in with this one and with just water on it, we want to swish and soften the color lay. So you see, um, this is almost like how when we paint a rose, we want to keep the white space because it adds something nice. Same thing here. So we have that nice soft look and feel to it right now. And this is perfect because this is exactly what we wanted. Just got to make sure I don't hit this again and ruin. Just adding a bit, a touch more of this to the center just to kind of indicate it's darker there. But yes, this is essentially how to highlight it. And then we'll do the others. So same thing as I did previously, I'm getting some of the color, like very muted brown. And then I'm gonna go in and add the brown in certain areas. See, this is slightly darker, but it kind of works because I'm not gonna wet the whole area that I have going on. I'm just going to do the details around these little petal things that encompass the bud and then going in with my number four I'm just going to add more like a slightly darker detail to the center and then maybe off to the side here And then if you decide to do it in other areas, just make sure you take your brush and kind of blend in the color, but still leave a lot of white space. So it looks nice and fluffy and it's giving a nice smooth blend. There we go, that's it. That we don't we don't really need to add any more detail to that. And now we have our third one left. And so for this one as well, because it's facing upward, we're just going to do a couple of details on the on the edges. So like for this, we'll do one here. So it outlines that edge. We'll do another one here. And then we're just going to do a couple in the center. And then I'm just going to take this brush and wash off all the color and I'm just going to smooth out the color. And then using the same brush, which is the number four, I'm just going to take a slightly darker, just on the tip, and add it to the center because I want it to kind of flare out in different directions to show that little bit that comes out from the center. Same thing here. 
I'm just not going to flare out for this one obviously because it's dried up but I just want to give it that little detail because now that it's dried up I can see that these bits aren't as dark and I just want to give it a slight emphasis yeah, because when when it dries up it always is a tad lighter so you will encounter that but these are nice and soft so you don't really need to stress too much about it and this is how we do the cotton buds guys I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial let me know in the comments what you guys have thought uh, if uh, you really enjoyed it please do consider subscribing or even sharing this video in your social media circles I love it uh, when you guys send me your work, so please follow me on Instagram and Facebook and send me a direct message there if you do not want to tag me in public or post your work in public. I am happy to view your um, work. It always brings me so much encouragement. Um, what else? Yeah, I think uh, that's about it. So practice, 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 and let's meet again on Sunday at 2 p.m. where we get to create and compose something together. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and uh, we will chat soon. Bye.